Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. Today is Wednesday. The sun is out and I feel like summer is upon us. Like I, f I feel like it's coming and I can really sense that now. It's four weeks until my first holiday of the summer and I'm so excited. I feel like when holidays start upon us is just the best time and I love like that leading up to it. And that's one of the reasons why I'm on this mini cut and it just gives me so much motivation. But I thought we could have a little bit of an update this morning as to how my second week has gone. Now onto my third week. I've just taken my progress photos and videos and and I actually don't take photos by the way. I take videos and then I just take screenshots because it's so much easier. But like a lot of my clients can be like, oh, I couldn't take a photo this morning. And I understand like it's quite hard to take a photo of yourself. But yeah, if you just take a video, you can screenshot it. And I've done an updated weight and I've seen great progress. When we first started this bulk, I think I was at, I varied between like 70.2 to 75 kilos. And now this morning it was down to 68. But yesterday when I weighed myself, it was actually 69.2. So it just goes to show like I've literally lost that amount, whatever that is. <laughs> I find it so hard to convert like kilos to pounds. Um, but yeah, I've lost that much overnight. And that is why you should never panic about like weight or anything like that, because it can just change that rapidly. But I could step on the scale tomorrow and it could have gone up. The scale is not actually one thing that I'm really going by, but obviously it is nice to see it move. The most important thing that I'm going by is to be honest how I look. So yeah, I'll show you. This is my progress from two weeks ago to now. As you can see, I'm looking leaner, tighter, my stomach's looking tighter, my face, I feel like it's back to normal. That was one of the things I really struggled with on my bulk. Do you know what, it's so weird. Like at the end of my bulk, I was kind of like, oh my God, I need to go and see like my aesthetic doctor. I feel like awful, my chin's gone. And now like only <laughs> two, I know that sounds really drastic, but I just, one of my, I'll let you in on a little secret, but one of my really self-conscious parts of my body, which I just don't like is my chin. So when it got bigger, well, not my chin, my jaw. But yeah, when it got bigger, I wasn't very happy. But anyways, we're back to feeling happy. So that's great. No treatments necessary. Um, <laughs> but yeah, in terms of this week, so calories are set at 2,425. I haven't changed my calories and I'm not going to change my calories. So they're actually going to stay the same. My body's reacting really well. And a few of you have said like, how can you diet on such high calories? Because I've worked hard in a bulk to get my calories up. And this is one of the benefits of bulking is that you work hard to get your calories up. You get your metabolism up because you're building muscle and then you can diet on high calories so it works really well but yeah one of the reasons for not dropping my calories is because i really want my training to still go well like i want to maintain my muscle mass so that's staying the same the only thing that i have changed is that i'm now doing four times 20 minute cardio sessions a week but it's literally an incline walk and it's after my session so it's not really anything at all yeah i'm basically setting the incline to around three and then i'm doing like a speed of like 4.3 to 4.5 but when i was doing cardio anyways after because i'd go on my phone and i just answer emails so now i'm just um, doing it at an incline and a bit faster and for 20 minutes and i'm also not wearing my watch that's the main thing so my cardio calories are not counting towards my steps so just basically being a little bit more active which can really help in terms of like just tightening you up more um but yeah that's all the changes that i've made and i'm feeling really happy so far and i feel like everything's going really well so yeah i have also decided to change up my leg workout but i'm gonna take you through that we're gonna do like a little voiceover situation in this video i feel like everyone always asks about my leg workout so yeah that is the plan for today anyways i am absolutely starving it is 9 37 and i have not eaten breakfast yet although i have had a belvita bar so i'm not gonna lie but i have had that i have that first thing when i wake up because i wake up starving um but yeah let's make some breakfast because i am hungry okay firstly we have to cover the elephant in the room don't know if any of you noticed <laughs> But guys, I am now a women's best athlete. Oh, I can't believe I'm literally finally saying that. I feel like this has been on my mood board slash goal board for such a long time. And it is just so on brand for me. Like I am such a girl and 
I love everything that Women's Best stand for. And I'm just so excited to finally tell you. So obviously I have a discount code, I'll pop it here. And I have a link as well, I'll pop that in the comments below. So if you guys wanna shop anything from Women's Best, then you can. Of course I'll be using so many of their products on my YouTube because I use protein powder and supplements every single day. So for breakfast today, I'm gonna be making some protein porridge because in all honesty, before I train my legs, I always have protein porridge. It's the best way to fuel yourself. And I'm gonna be using the Women's Best Fit Pro Way. I always get plain flavored protein powders. I've tried all the different ones. I'm not a fan. I just like plain protein powders for like any sort of powder, just vanilla, chocolate, cereal protein way is always really good. Strawberry, like just your basic ones. So yeah, we're gonna use this vanilla one. And this actually tastes, it's not sickly at all. It tastes a little bit like vanilla. I don't know, you know like um that, vanilla custard that's not, that's like fresh from the supermarket. Tastes like that, it's really good. Let's make some protein porridge. Yum, there is my protein porridge for 419 calories and 30 grams of protein. Guys, my finger, <laughs> it's cause the bowl's so heavy. But yeah, how good does that look? Delish. So the reason I put Biscoff in it is because it literally just melts. Like how good is that? It's like melted Biscoff. I was thinking this morning, I was like, what should I have for breakfast? Shall I show my protein porridge? But to be honest, it's basically what I have every single morning like in the week when I'm in a rush. And I just wanna be realistic because I don't want you guys to think I'm like making really extravagant breakfast like <laughs> Monday to Sunday because I'm not. And sometimes, honestly, like if I'm not filming, I'll literally just chuck all the fruit in it, pile everything on top and it just looks horrific. But anyways, that's live. But yeah, if you're looking like for a good high protein breakfast that's not too high on the calories, but it's gonna keep you full and fuel your leg workouts, definitely, definitely try protein porridge. Mm, so good. Not gonna lie, I have just got out of my shorts because <laughs> I think I just got too carried away, guys, when I saw the sun. I was like, oh, it's shorts day. I haven't actually worn shorts in the UK yet this year. But no, I'm actually a bit cold now. So <laughs> anyway, it's got my leggings on. I'm just gonna make my workout drink. So, so I've been using this women's best one. This one's iced tea peach. And I just add a scoop. And then I normally add some ice as well. However, we are out of ice, which is very annoying. But if you like iced tea, it literally tastes like that. It's so good. But I find with all these kinds of drinks, they taste the best when they are literally like ice cold. So if you do have ice, I'd really recommend putting it in. Okay, I actually just found some ice, so that's great. This is gonna taste so good. It literally just tastes like an iced flavored drink, which I mean, it's so much better than water because I don't know about you, but I just, I hate drinking tap water, especially in London. It just really doesn't taste that nice. I don't know. My boyfriend says I'm like a water snob, but I don't know. I just feel like it tastes different. I don't know if any of you agree. Okay, got everything I need. Oh my God, where's my phone? Why do I do this? Okay, so I've just got my new plan through. I actually haven't changed my workouts since, well, I have a little bit, but I've basically stuck to the same workout since I started bulking. And there's a reason for that. And it's because I just want to progress. And if you're constantly changing your workouts, you're not going to progress. I have changed like little things. Like I've changed, say, my Smith machine reverse lunges. And I've changed that to floating reverse lunges on the Smith machine. So I've basically made it harder. So that's the kind of changes that I've made. However, we've changed my glute and hamstring day and today's session is we're doing hamstring curls to warm up. Then we're going to do four sets of heavy barbell hip thrusts. Then we're going to do some Kaz glute bridges because I never really include these into my plan and Kaz glute bridges basically eliminate your quads and every, anything else and they really focus on your glutes. So I'm going to do that after the barbell hip thrusts. I feel like that's gonna be really nasty. Then we got Bulgarian split squats with a bit of a forward lean to target my glutes. And then just some abductions and adductions. So it's gonna be a good session. I'm gonna do a little voiceover 
um, and I'll guide you through my workout. To start any of my workouts, I do 10 minutes on the treadmill just to get my heart rate up and to get me feeling a little bit warmer for the workout. Then on my lower body days, I go into some dynamic exercises to get my body moving through the range of motion that I am after. It's so important to do mobility exercises before you actually do your workout. And I always feel like if I don't do them, then I'll never perform my best because my body won't be raring to go and it won't be ready for the workout ahead. So I just chose these few simple exercises. And to be honest, I always stick to the same one so just pick a few that you like and make sure that you feel prepared and you feel like your body is ready to start the workout <laughs> So on my lower body workout this week, we went into some hamstring curls. I did 20 reps for three sets. That was just to warm up my legs and also to kind of tire out my hamstring slightly so that they didn't become dominant on my hip thrusts. So the compound exercise in this workout are my barbell hip thrusts. Here I worked up to 10 reps, four sets. This was at 70 kilos. Then I worked up to a working weight of 130, but I always warm up properly so I'll do around four to five reps of a lighter weight and then slowly move up to 130 kilos so I did 70 then 110 and then I went up to 130 but I didn't complete 10 reps in the warm-up I did around sort of four to five maybe six just until I felt ready and then we went into our first working set I always pop the band on when I do hip thrust because I feel like it encourages me to push my knees out slightly which targets my outer glutes and I definitely feel like I get a better glute activation when I'm wearing the band. Then after doing my four sets of hip thrusts, I went into 12 reps, three sets of Kaz glute bridges. I took the band off for this. It was absolutely horrific. As you can see by my face, I've really struggled here. <laughs> Then we went into some forward leaning Bulgarian split squats. At this point, guys, I literally thought I was gonna die and I felt really sick. Um, so yeah, I'm using 18 kilos and you just lean forward slightly to target your glutes. Then we went into seated abductions. I aimed for 15 reps and I tried to go as heavy as I could. No leaning forward here. This machine is actually really good at targeting your glute med and your outer glutes. So yeah, after doing that, we then went into some adductions and I finished off the workout there. Guys, that was genuinely one of the hardest gym sessions or leg sessions I've done in such a long time. I don't know why. I think it's because I changed it. Well, I do know why. Basically, I did hamstrings first and that kind of like exhausted my legs a bit and tired out my hamstrings. So when I did the hip thrust and the Kaz glute bridges, they weren't like firing so much. So everything was going to my bum, which was great. But <laughs> after those four sets of 10 hip thrusts and I got up to 130 kilo, I went into the Kaz glute bridges and I just died. <laughs> and then after that, I just struggled for like the whole workout, but it's fine. We got it done sweating and then after that i did 20 minutes incline walk took my watch off i didn't film it because to be honest there's not really much to show and it's really busy around there i'm pretty sure people don't want me filming um but yeah i'm just gonna go into morrison's and grab some stuff for lunch um i've got a really delish post-workout lunch planned and i thought we could cook that together and then yeah we'll head back and we'll have some lunch all right so we are back i've just picked up some essentials I feel like I literally go to the supermarket maybe three times a week. Also, I found these wraps. They look pretty good. They've got like the griddle mark. Is that what you would say? Griddle mark on them. But also had to restock my favorite Velveeta bars. Croutons. Got some chicken. Reduced fat Caesar dressing. And then some hand sanitizer for my car, which I should have left in there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am so hungry. That leg session has like taken every bit of energy that I had out of me. So I'm actually really looking forward to lunch because I love a good wrap, I really do. And actually someone just commented on my Instagram saying, all she makes is pasta or a wrap. I was like, um, actually this week I've made orzo, rice, potato, like what else is there to go with food? I, I don't think people realize how hard it is, right? To constantly come up with like new recipes and new food and 
Also like explore all these things whilst you're dieting. It's really hard, but I feel like I'm doing a good job. So I'm sorry if it feels repetitive. But anyways, guys, right, let's get into this. For lunch, we're making a chicken Caesar wrap. My favorite, it's so easy and this is how you make it. So to make this, we're gonna need some lettuce. We've got turkey bacon rashers. Now this is a good swap compared to normal bacon. Saves quite a lot of cows. We've got the wraps that I've just bought, chicken, then croutons, love these, parmesan and some low-fat Caesar dressing. Yum, how good does that look? And that was literally made so quickly. So this whole wrap has 441 calories and 40 grams of protein. And no, I don't track lettuce because I always get asked about this, so no. The best thing with wraps is to put them in the microwave for 20, mi 20 minutes, whoa, 20 seconds before making a wrap. And also if you wrap it in foil, it's so much easier to eat because otherwise it just falls apart like this. Mmm, <laughs> tastes so good. Love that. That is a whim. Mm. You can say whatever you want to say. <laughs> you already started recording. <laughs> you, Guys. You need to tell your YouTube fans to not hate on me anymore. <laughs> so basically, a while ago, I did like, no, I think it was, it was when I had a breast augmentation. I did a vlog recovering and in it was Kieran because he was basically looking after me or he was trying to look after me. No, I Kieran's, <laughs> Kieran's way of looking after me is he's very jokey. Like he will do stuff if I have to like ask 10 times, but he is, he does. No, no, <laughs> but he does joke, he does joke around. Anyways, I think like how it was edited because it was with my last video editor and how it was like filmed. Kieran didn't come across in the best light and I had like, loads of comments on that video being like, you should dump your boyfriend. And I just found it so funny because I was like, yeah, Kieran, I should dump you. You were really you bad. Did you from someone once saying I was being horrible to you or something? Yeah, I think I did. I like, I literally love that you guys support me, but he was joking. Go on, you say an actual verbal, say a verbal apology. Guys, I'm sorry if I offended Eleanor or offended you the way I treated Eleanor, but don't believe everything you see through social media. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to be nice. You've just got to be nicer to me. We love each other. I don't think we do. Well, you do. <laughs> you just got to be. <laughs> and it's probably when I just about to sit on the sofa, you went, "Oh, can you just do this? Can you just do that?" Can you yeah, you should this? attend to my every need when I can't move I my arms above my head. <laughs> Anyways, case closed. He's, case closed. He's apologised. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so full, but feeling really good. I'm honestly enjoying this whole diet process so much. I thought I wouldn't, but it's really nice because it's like short and sweet. And my aim is to finish on the 14th of June. It literally, I think it's four weeks today. Yeah, one, two, three, four weeks. I don't know why I did five, four weeks today that I finished. And I think it's so important to set yourself like a time frame when you are dieting because otherwise it feels like you're just dieting like aimlessly and it doesn't really give you any motivation because you have like no time to stop. So yeah, the fact that this is six weeks has just really given me that boost to just absolutely smash it. And with your guys' support, I'm feeling really motivated. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you found it really informative. I think I forgot to say actually what my macros were, but yeah, obviously nothing's changed. But of course, if you're new here, I just want to update you. So current macros are 2,425 calories, 320 grams of carb, 140 protein and 65 grams of fat. And 
And to be honest, I never really look at the carbs and fats. I just look at the protein and the calories. And that's the most important thing like when you're dieting because as long as you hit the calories and the protein, you're gonna hit the carbs and the fats in some way. And it's always like personal preference whether you have more carbs or less fats or whatever. So yeah, they're my calories. They're staying the same for the third week. And I'm just hoping to kind of keep the calories up as much as I can because like I said, I really don't want my sessions to go not so great. Like I wanna maintain my weights and I'm getting leaner and that's the most important focus here. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed another video. Please let me know what you wanna see next. I feel like, I don't know, I wanna do stuff that you guys really want to see especially on this mini cut so if there's things that you really want to see comment below and if you have any questions comment below and thank you so much for watching i'll see you at the same time next week bye bye